I just finished my workout for today, the only thing I was using today was my sandbag, which weighs about 25 pounds. Um, the workout is split up into two parts. For part one, the first exercise is sandbag swings. So let me just show you that first exercise before we start so that you know what we're doing. And then the rest of the exercises, I will walk you through as we're doing the workout. So the first exercise is sandbag swings. I was using both sand, uh, both, both sandbag, both hands on the handle of my sandbag. But I frequently do these one-handed, so it's up to you how you wanna do them. I was holding on to this middle handle of my sandbag like this the whole time. <clears throat> Um, the weight is going to be in your heels. <sighs> Push that booty back so that the weight stays in your heels. Chest is lifted high, shoulders back and down. Nice, strong, tight, engaged core, straight back. Okay, I'm going to lift the sandbag and then I'm hinging at the hips. I'm going to stand, pushing my heels into the ground and thrusting my hips forward and driving that sandbag up so that it's at, at about uh, shoulder height for me, okay? So, it looks like this. As I mentioned, I usually, more often than not, when I do sandbag swings, I do single arm sandbag swings and I alternate arms, so you can do that if you want. So, one arm and then switch which hand is holding the sandbag at the top. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. I was holding on with both hands today, so that's your choice. So that's the first exercise of sandbag swings. If you don't have a sandbag or something similar that you can use, like for example, a duffel bag filled with some sort of weight, um, bags of rice or kitty litter, or uh, dry, you know, like that powdered laundry detergent or something like that. Um, you can use a kettlebell. Uh, obviously kettlebell swings are a very popular exercise. You can also do that exercise with a heavy dumbbell. Um, if none of that's gonna work for you, household items. Look around your house, get creative, use what you've got. Maybe something like this. Did you like that? My big reveal. Let's see, like that. Cool, right? So, I mean, household items can work great. You can very easily do this with a jug of laundry detergent or fabric softener, right? Um, you really actually could hold on to these types of containers once they're empty and fill them with sand or rice or, you know, some kind of weight like that. And that can be your go-to, you know, piece of exercise equipment if you don't want to spend money on like a kettlebell or a sandbag or something. Okay, so just uh, get creative and use what you've got. Um, household items work. If you really just don't have anything that's gonna work or you don't like to add weight, just substitute with like uh, some sort of squat variation maybe. You could do like a, an air squat with like a, a front kick or something like that. All right, that's one option, but um, just get creative. Use what you've got, and as always, if you need um, help with substitutions or modifications, I'm right here. Please just ask. There are another three exercises in part one where I'm using my sandbag as a weight. The same principles apply. You can make the same kind of modifications, but um, I'm not gonna go through those individually, so just please reach out if you need help with modifications or substitutions, if you don't have a sandbag or something similar that you can use, or if you don't want to add weight. Um, it is very important to me that the workouts are accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them. So I am more than happy to facilitate that in any way I can, so big beetle. If you need help with modifications or substitutions, please just ask. So now, if you want to do this workout with me today, we're starting with sandbag swings. So if you have a sandbag or something similar that you can use, go ahead and grab that. If not, look for a household item that will work. Um, you will also need a mat, an exercise mat or a yoga mat or a towel, something that you can lie down on comfortably for our ab exercise. So um, get that if you need it. If you're working out on a carpeted floor, you probably won't need anything. Um, 
just take a minute or so to make sure that you're good and warmed up and when you're ready, let's go. That's 50. When I was writing this workout, I debated with myself back and forth about whether I wanted to do 50 reps of sandbag swings per round or 100. I settled on 100. <laughs> and I'm second guessing it already. Um, if 50 is enough for you, you can move on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my set of 100 because we're only doing two rounds of this little circuit, so I can do it. <sighs> all right, I have another 50. If I can't get through all 50 of them without stopping, I will just break it up uh, into smaller sets, but I'm gonna get it done. So do what you need to do to make it work for you, but I'm gonna do another 50 reps of sandbag swings. Here we go. <sighs> Ninety. All right, that's 
100. Three more exercises to finish out the circuit. For the remaining three exercises, we're doing just 20 reps a piece. So um, the next exercise is side lunges. I'm gonna be alternating sides, so it's only going to be 10 on each leg, okay? Um, I am using my sandbag for all of these exercises today. Um, my sandbag weighs about 25 pounds. For this one, I'm gonna be holding the sandbag while I lunge to the side, and then we're gonna clean the sandbag. That's one rep, sit. So it's a weighted side lunge with the sandbag clean. So I'm gonna start in a neutral position. My feet are close together. I'm holding the sandbag in front of me over my shoulders, back and down, chest is lifted high. Strong, tight core, straight back, weight in the heels. So push that booty back. We're gonna lunge to the side. And I'm gonna tap that sandbag down while I lunge to the side. And then on the way back up, I'm gonna clean the sandbag. Meaning I'm just gonna flip it into my elbows like this. Same thing on the other side. So the sandbag comes down, lunge, touch the sandbag down, and clean. That's two, we're doing a total of 20 reps. Okay. That's it, just 20 reps. So, believe it or not, these last three exercises in the circuit, I actually toyed with the idea of doing 50 reps per round. I decided I'm not trying to kill myself today, so 20 will be fine. After we finish this circuit twice, we still have part two to do, so. All right. chest is lifted high, strong, tight, engaged, core, flat back. Again, the weight stays in the heels, so push that booty back, bend your legs as much as you need to, and you're just going to uh, hinge at the hips, back straight, weight is in the heels, and then at the bottom of your deadlift, you're gonna do a row. So bend your elbows, lift the sand back up, and back down, and then pressing into those heels, engaging all of the muscles in your feet and your legs and your glutes. Reverse the movement and return to your starting position. That's one rep. I'm not counting that because it was so slow. I was just demonstrating. So um, 20 reps of those. All right. Mind your form. Here we go. 20 reps.
exercises, 100 reps of sandbag swings, and then the other three exercises that we're doing now, I would have done 50 reps of each. But since we have that part two coming up and that's gonna be kind of time consuming, I think I made the right choice by doing 20 reps uh, per round of each of these uh, three exercises. But you can do more if you feel like you need more of a challenge. Last exercise, it's going to just be um, crunches, basically. So, I'm gonna come down on my back, and I have my stand back um, balanced on my ankles, okay? I'm gonna come down on my back, and I'm gonna lift my legs up. Knees bent at more or less a 90 degree angle. I'm just gonna come up and tap the sides of the stand back. 20 reps, okay, that's one. I'm going to take a short rest because um, my last couple of reps were getting sloppy and I want them clean. Whew. So I'm just going to pause for a second, gather myself, focus, and do my last 10 reps. Here we go. one more time and then we'll move on to part two. I'm already at 14 minutes so let's see if I can try to pick up the pace now that you've seen all the exercises hopefully um, you know what we're doing we can get through this round two a little bit faster but not at the expense of our form. Nothing's more important than minding your form okay. So starting again with 100 reps of stand back swing. Uh, again, I'll try to get to the first 50 if I can without stopping, but I don't think I'll be able to do more than that. So I'm gonna break them up into at least probably three to little sets. Round one, I did 50 and then 30 and then 20. Maybe I can do that again. Just do your best. Break it up in whatever way works for you. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna start round two. 100 stand back swings, here we go.
not 50. That's only 30, but I'm feeling very sapped of energy right now. So I'm gonna do another 20 rest and then I'll try to do the same thing, 30 and 20. Okay, so just break it up however you need to break it up. I'm gonna get all my reps done regardless, so it's okay. Okay, another 20 for me. You do you. So for me, that's 50. I have to do another 50. So I would like to do the same thing. I'm gonna attempt another 30 without stopping. And then I'm sure I'll need another rest. <laughs> and then hopefully I can just go ahead and finish up with my last 10. Okay. I don't wanna rest too long. Obviously, I need to wait until I have enough strength to continue, but I also wanted to try to pick up the pace for this round, so I don't want to stand here all day. All right. I'm going to try to do my next 30 without stopping, and that'll get me to 80. So here we go. Okay, that's 80. Just need a minute. Everything feels like jelly right now. So. to breathe, regain a little strength. We just have 20 more to do, so we're gonna push through and just try to get these last 20 done so we can move on. Okay, that's 100. Stand back, swings are done. I'm 
Next is our weighted side lunge with a sandbag clean. 20 reps alternating sides. All right. Try not to rest too long. Let's just start the set and then if I didn't rest long enough and I need to pause in the middle of the set and rest, I'll do that. But let's go ahead and get started. I wanna push myself to keep going. Keep the intensity level up a little bit. Okay. So side lunge, clean the sandbag, that's one. Lunge and clean, that's two, we're going to 20. That's 20. Next is our sandbag deadlift with a row, bent over row. Now, I'm very much regretting that there's a part two I still have to do. It's gonna be brutal. And now I'm thinking <laughs> that even without the part two, 20 reps of these is enough. I'm struggling today, you guys. All right, deadlift with bent over row. 20 reps on your forearm, shoulders back and down, chest lifted high. Straight back, strong, tight, engaged core. Booty goes back, weight in the heels, bend your legs as much as you need to, bend the elbows. Bent over row and stand, that's one. Two, we're going to 20. Last exercise with our 90 degree weighted crunches. So come down on the mat. Sandbag resting on the ankles. Come back with the legs and crunch. Touch the sides of the sandbag. One, two, go to 20.
bit of time. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, we picked up the pace a lot in that second round, so that's good. Um, we're only not even 27 minutes in, so. Um, I definitely think if you're just doing this part one, that you could increase the reps. I'd say 100 sandbag swings is a good amount, but for the remaining three exercises in the circuit, I think probably you could do 50 reps per round. Um, of course, it's up to you, but if that's all you're doing, I think, uh, I think that's reasonable. Um, but we're gonna do a second part. Don't hate me, this is gonna be so brutal, you guys. All right, so, yeah, 26 minutes and a couple of seconds was where I was after that round two. So after round one, I was at almost 14 minutes. So we did the second round about two minutes faster. I'm happy with that. Part two, I am using my sandbag, but I'm just using it as a target. I'm jumping over it. So um, this second part is just body weight only. I'm not lifting anything. All I'm doing is a half burpee. So what I mean when I say half burpee is this, I'm starting on this side of the sandbag. I'm going to bend down and put my, well squat down and put my hands on the ground in front of me. From here, I'm gonna jump my feet back into a plank position like this, and then I'm gonna jump them right back in. Then instead of jumping up, I'm gonna jump over my sandbag like this, that's one rep. So obviously we're alternating sides. So from here, I'm gonna come down, kick the feet back, kick them back in and jump over. That would be rep number two. If you know me well enough, you know that what I'm gonna say next is that we're doing 100 of those. So don't hate me. If 100 is too many, just do 50. I'm so stubborn. I wrote the workout with 100 reps, so I'm gonna do 100. But that's part two. Whether you do 50 of them or 100 of them is up to you, but that's part two. And then um, that's it. If you want to increase the difficulty, you can uh, add a push up. You can jump up and then jump over the bag. You can add weight. The burpees, you can do some sort of burpee variation with your sandbag or with some dumbbells. So, there's always ways to add difficulty um, if you're in better shape than I am or you just really want to challenge yourself. But that's what I'm doing is half burpee, jump over the sandbag 100 times. Okay, it's gonna be brutal. It's gonna take a minute, but we're gonna get it done. All right, so part two. I'm gonna say we're at 30 minutes, just so I remember, we're not quite at 30 minutes, but just so I remember how long this takes because I'm not timing it separately. Here we go.
can't even talk. It's just one of those days where I feel like I don't have any gas in the tank. I'm just running out of fumes, but I'm gonna get it done. That was only my first 20. So I have to do that another four times. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to continue with sets of 20. So from here on out, I'm just gonna have to do sets of 10, All right? I'm gonna have to do eight sets of 10. So you do whatever works for you. I am telling you that I don't have more than 10 in me at a time right now, and I hope I even have that much. All right, so I am on 20. I'm gonna tackle my next set of 10. One more deep breath, here we go. together. Commit to doing two more little sets of 10 with me and then see how you feel. And if that's enough for you, I will allow you to call it a day. <laughs> but let's at least get to 50. So next set of 10. Here we go. That was rep number 40. So I have to do six more sets. If you don't have six more in you, then just do one more with me, please. When you're ready. Don't wait for me. You know what we're doing. So if you are in better shape than I am, you should keep going. But if you need a longer rest than what I'm taking, please pause the video and come back when you're ready. You have to go at your own pace, okay? All right, one more set gets us to 50. So let's tackle our next set of 10. Here we go. When you're ready. Last 
So that's 50. That took me a little more than six minutes or seven minutes. yourself with me. I would like to try to finish these last five sets in about the same amount of time, which would put me on track to finish in about 45 minutes-ish. So I didn't set a time goal before I started the workout, but I'm setting one now of 45 minutes. So let's push really hard and get through these last five sets as quickly as we can. All right, here we go. Next set of 10. mean it. I want you going. Do not bite me. I right, that 70. Just three more sets to go. I'm trying to keep my rest breaks as short as I can, but I'm struggling to get through that last set. So just taking a few extra seconds this time. All right, here we go. Next set of time, just do your best. so hard but we just have two sets left to go if you don't need the rest and just finish off these last 20 rounds I need a second all right whenever you're ready let's tackle this penultimate set of time Two 
more. That's 89. And that's 90. I think I managed to actually pick up the pace a little bit in the second half. set of 10 to go. My body wants a longer rest, but I really want to push through and get these done. So I'm just going to go for it. Last set of 10. Here we go. mindfully I should say because of course you're breathing I hope you're breathing um, breathe mindfully work on slowing down your breathing take deep long slow breaths try to get your heart rate to start to come down a little bit we're almost finished no workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee so we have just one rep left do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will officially be over. Okay, final rep. Here we go. All right. With that, the workout is officially complete. I'm going to wait for this one last plane and then I'll wrap things up. So all together, this workout today took me 43 minutes and 29 seconds. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I managed to pick up my pace in the second half of part one. I did the second half faster than the first half without sacrificing my form. And I did the same thing in part two. I managed to pick up my pace for that second 50 reps and um, easily made my goal of finishing in under 45 minutes. So I'm very happy with that. And of course, the next time I do this workout, um, I will make it my goal to finish in under 43 minutes and 29 seconds. So I'll probably set a goal of 40 minutes the next time I do the workout. Um, timing the workouts is something that I find very beneficial. It helps me to have a very clear cut goal in mind when I come back to the workout and um, it helps me to kind of track my progress. I find it very encouraging when I see myself getting faster and stronger. Um, that being said, it may or may not work for you. So you can try it, try timing yourself. And then um, next time you do the workout, try to beat your time. And if you find it beneficial, if it motivates you, then great. And if it doesn't, you don't have to time the workouts. Um, it's up to you. So before I wrap things up, let me just give you today's secret, super duper top secret code phrase of the day. It is, I know you are, but what am I? So if you are still watching this video, please Leave me a comment that says, I know you are, but what am I? I just want to see how many people are still watching. This is something I've been doing for a few weeks. I find it very amazing. Um, and it always makes my day when somebody leaves me a comment with the secret code phrase of the day. So go down to the comment section and type, I know you are, but what am I? 
And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I thought it was really great. Um, if you did this workout with me today, please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. That is it for today. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me. I appreciate you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.